like my worst fear. And I saw everybody crowding around her and I was like, oh my gosh. Good morning, guys. This is when I wish um, cameras had filters. <laughs> this is why when I come out here on Instagram, I uh, use a filter because of the situation, but whatever. And I have this, like, I have the camera set up on a piece of coral. And anyways, I wanted to sit outside. Everybody's asleep, but it's so loud. And I'm not complaining because it's like birds and that's, you know, pretty sounds, but sorry <laughs> if they're annoying. Let me take a sip of my coffee, guys. I haven't even had my first sip. Cheers. Okay, I want to talk to you about what happened to Cavri. I had already been sharing just some pictures and things of um, Cap on Instagram, and you guys were so sweet because obviously I've been getting DMs. Oh my gosh, what happened? What happened? So I'm gonna tell you. Ugh, I'm gonna try not to get emotional, and you know it's just one of those things that like I'm like, oh, if I could turn back time or um, like. I kind of saw what she was doing and I wish I had said cap, you know. I feel like I didn't protect her and I feel like I should have stopped her. And I know that's silly because it's just doing something that she does all the time, but I don't know. And if you know cap, a year ago, <laughs> she had a very traumatic head injury. A year and a month ago, she had a very traumatic injury to her head and that was just, wow, that was, that was rough. So here we are, another ER trip. So she was, we were at Cheer, obviously. That's her happy place. Mm. I don't know why I'm so emotional and it's so hard, but just I'm her mom and it doesn't take much for me to cry and when any of my kids are going through something. And I think right now it's more the emotional aspect for her because she knows what that means and she's not able to do the thing that she loves right now anyways i'll stop crying it's uh she was at cheer obviously and she comes to cheer she goes to cheer every time i'm there even if it's not her practice because that's just her happy place and her happy people and the people she loves and coach michael who is just her favorite person pretty much on the planet. So she was doing uh, on the tramp, don't every, I swear, I hate trampolines. She was doing something that you've seen her do all the time on Instagram. It's punch front through. Sometimes you do punch front through to lay out and then whip. I don't know if she was doing punch front through to whip. I don't know. It's like a pretty scary skill to do on the floor. She won't do, she'll do a punch front through to round off hand tuck on the floor with Michael there. But this thing she hasn't, she's never even tried to whip on the, on the floor. But anyway, she does this on the tramp all the time and it always looks really good. Like she's really good at this. And she does this funny thing where she likes to do the punch front through to whip and she goes back and forth and she doesn't stop. And she just kind of goes back and back and back and back. And she was trying to uh, reach 10 of those as her goal well she she landed she threw i was listening to her describe what she what she did and she was saying how she over rotated i guess her punch front and when she went to round off to whip i guess the round off i don't know what she was land she landed wonky she knew and, and she said in her mind her mind told her oh don't continue to like to stop after the punch front like not to not to finish but that's not cat she's gonna keep going so she she kept going landed kind of weird on the tramp i think it was like off to the side a little and landed on her arm and um it popped and everybody heard it and i was standing at the door <laughs> and i saw it was like kind of like my worst fear my worst fear and i saw everybody crowding around her and i was like oh my gosh and i was looking through the door and and, and people were like oh no she's okay and i looked at her and 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 she just looked at me and, sh and and she wouldn't come over and i think the moms were like oh she can move it she's she looks fine i think she's okay and i was like she's not i know capri is like, nope she's not okay lo and behold she was not okay um, she came over and she could she could barely lift her arm and it was going like this not shaking from nervousness but shaking from something happening in her arm and it was just like this it was like this and she could barely like just it, the movements were like hard and I looked at it and, and she was like, and just something 
she's like it doesn't feel right and obviously it hurt so she went to the er and so i guess we can answer whatever daniel has all right so capri's in bad shape she hurt her arm really bad we're at the emergency room don't know what she did to it. I don't know if she broke it or she tore a tendon, but she was she was doing. I was doing. Most of you guys would know. I was doing the punch front step out through to a whip, and then after the whip, I would punch right back to a punch front, and it was like I just like landed weird and. Yeah. Okay, so we just talked to the doctor. He's not. Sh he thinks he kind of thinks maybe it's a fracture, right? But he's hoping it's not. He's kind of like, he crossed his fingers like this saying, I hope it's not. Um, and he he said that this could be maybe just a sprain instead of like a tear, maybe. So we're really hoping it's not a tear. I think I think a fracture with a, a, a sprain would be better than a tear. Let's just, I think that, maybe. But anyway, let's just do the x-ray and see what they see. So, the results came back. There we go. See what it looks like? <laughs> That's what she's got to be in for a little while. Uh, what is this Sling. Called? Sling. Sling. Oh, it's for you. Yes. And so it looks like no fracture as far as they can see. But there could be. There could it's be. Possible. You know how with kids, younger bone structures, the fracture could show up later um, once it starts to heal because you can't see it. And, you know, they could do a CT scan or I think a CT scan. Yeah. It looks like she has a tear in her muscle. And that's what happened is she's torn her forearm muscle. So I can definitely not stunt or anything because I have right. to this. So we're going to have to go to orthopedic doctor and just kind of get more soft muscle tissue scans, maybe, I guess, with them. And then they'll tell us more about the healing process and what to do for a muscle tear. Yeah. So we'll just see. We could probably have an appointment tomorrow. Yeah. Let's go tell mom. Hi. Look at this. Oh, oh yeah. It's stylish. Hey, watch out. It hurts so. Sorry. Yeah, I'm so happy. Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> no. I, 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 I was sitting in your bed and I was all tense up. Oh, and no, I was actually it's broken. Awful. We were so tense the whole time. I know. You doing okay? We were I so, her, like, so her worried. It was more serious. Passage, yeah. yeah. You know? She's yeah. a trooper. <laughs> yeah, and it, you know we had been it's been a year since the head injury, so it was just like it was inevitable. I mean, literally <laughs> almost a year. It was like yes. a year exactly. one month ago. Yeah, that's crazy. That, yeah, that's just unstoppable. I know. <laughs> you crazy? <sighs> you crazy? <laughs> you crazy? <laughs> so the X-ray at the ER said no fracture and a torn muscle. To be honest, that's kind of like soft tissue injuries are far worse and can be months out. I was literally thinking based on her in based on this the pop and all the things that this was gonna be a tendon injury and surgery and we're talking six months out each year. And that's what I thought and I thought that's not gonna go over well for Cap. You take her out of one practice and it's hard for Cap. If we go on vacation and she misses one day, she's upset. That's how much she loves it. She doesn't want to miss it ever. So then we took her to the ortho. All right, so she's at the orthopedic doctor. We're gonna find out what is, how her condition of her arm is, her tear, um, how deep it is, how bad it is. And then we're gonna find out from the x-rays and talking to the doctors about um, recovery time and what to do for her to recover. Yep, she gets her x-ray next. Uh oh, what'd you do? Just did some motion and it hurt it. Oh, so she just had her x-ray. In this office, they display it right there. And then they come in and go through all the slides and show all the details and talk about what, the, what it is. So just waiting for the doctor to come and show us what's wrong and the severity. Okay, shocking results, actually. We didn't expect this. There's her x-ray and there's a hairline fracture. So, I don't know about a muscle tear. She said maybe we can do an MRI in two weeks to see if there's a muscle tear also, but there is a fracture. So she said it can maybe recover in three to four weeks. 
So we're going to come back in two to check it and see how the recovery is coming and how the bone is healing back. So that's that's good. That's I think that's a small amount of time for you to be not tumbling and then cheering and doing all your stuff and getting right back into it soon. And obviously they're the professionals, right? They know more than an ER. And and I love Maureen. She's one who has treated the girls and she's so thorough. And I just want, I don't want to ever see anyone else because I just, I really appreciate her thoroughness and her compassion and empathy and understanding. She's just a smart lady. So anyways, I knew we needed Cap to see her. X-ray showed the fracture. She has a fracture in the ulna, like at the top. I don't know, I, we can insert a picture so you can see it. And she still may have a muscle tear, but she said that it would be the same treatment and recovery. After two weeks, we're gonna go back and assess, but um, it could be a lot worse. So I am so grateful. It's, it's At this point, they're saying three to four weeks of rest and two weeks of the wrap and the sling. And then I guess after the two weeks, if she's healing well, maybe we lose the wrap or maybe we lose the sling, maybe we lose one of them, but it has to be wrapped and slinged to let everything rest and heal. And, I'm, and we're supposed to ice and elevate it. And I'm also giving her Motrin. So I am really praying that after two weeks, her recovery is going well. So it could be a total of three. If best, 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 best case scenario is three weeks. We'll see. Uh, um, she's in a, it hurts very much. She has a lot of pain, even just with t touching. It's swollen, it hurts to even move her fingers. Like, she can. The good news is, is why they don't think it's a tendon rupture, is she can move all her fingers, she can do a thumbs up, she can move her fingers and do her fist. It hurts and it's very weak, but a total tear in like a tendon, she would have muscle, she would have like loss of movement. So that's encouraging because that would be a devastating, devastating injury three to four weeks out of cheer is already very devastating for Cap. And so that's why I get emotional. I am so grateful it's not worse. I'm so grateful, you know, um, she didn't have a catastrophic injury. It's par for the course. Welcome to cheer. Many of her friends have had times of injury and breaks from cheer. This is part of her journey. This is the normal part, unfortunately, of, of this type of competitive sport. And if you know Cap, then you know that she's she's just strong and she's a go-getter and she's fierce fearless and she's going to get back in that gym and as if you know no time had stopped but you know i, I hate to say it caps prone to this kind of thing but she's not prone to it it's just she's a girl who lives and doesn't stop living and you know does crazy things and that's just and, and i don't want her any other way and you know you only live once and things happen and I just I think our prayer is is that their recovery is as fast as what we hope for um, so we're trying to for these two weeks to really rest 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 and um, it's hard but I think she knows what's at stake and she knows she has to keep keep that arm still and I'm grateful that they didn't put it in a cast I think that'd be even harder for her so that's why I just want to make sure that we keep it still so it's we, we, we I don't I, in, in two weeks, I don't think we're gonna have to like put it in a cast. I think the bone's gonna heal. I think the the biggest thing I think is not the the fracture healing. It's just the, that soft tissue needs to heal because that's where a lot of the inflammation and pain is at. So, anyways, uh, let's hope we can maybe we can make it two years without a, another injury. I'm grateful for the timing. I talked to Michael, her coach, who's so sweet. He called called us yesterday. Called her and wanted to talk to her. And he told me, he's like, you know what, when she comes, um, look, right now it's the summer. We're not, we don't have choreo. It's not comp season. I mean, not comp time. And he was like, and when she comes back to tumbling July, she said they take things really slow in July. July is just a slow month. So really, it's like, you know what, God worked things out and timing and all of those things. So anyways, pray for Cap. I know you guys love her. You know, it's hard for her. It's hard for her to stop. She's only 12, you know, so it's hard. But... She's got a great support group and I think it's gonna be great. And she'll be back at it and having a great time uh, with her J3 team and not missing a beat. So that's the story. We love you guys and um, see you tomorrow.